The fire took those who lived here. It took those who were visiting too. That night in June last year, Mohammed Ertuku, his wife Amal and their three-year-old daughter Amaya had joined family on the 19th floor for a meal. All perished. The inquiry heard mother and daughter died in each other's arms. And that's how they were when they were being burnt alive, holding each other so tight, trying to squeeze the nightmare away. Till this day and for the rest of my life, I will never accept that they are gone. And that I will never see them again and I will never be able to feel their warmth, their kind and loving hearts. Many victims died on the 23rd and top floor. One was 73-year-old Fatia Ali Ahmed Elsa Nossi, who had fled persecution to make her home in the tower. Her sister talked of the pain and anger she now feels. Fatia came to this country as a refugee seeking security and safety after her struggle with the regime in Sudan. Our trust in this country has been destroyed. I can't begin to describe my life without my sister. On the 17th floor of Grenfell Tower, the fire claimed the lives of five members of the same family. Kamru Mia, his wife Rabea Begum, and children Hamid Hanif and Husna. As a result of this fire, not only did I lose five members of my immediate family, but I have also been made an orphan by it. I can say with my hand on my heart that I am extremely proud of my family for remaining close to each other in their last moments before passing away. I am even more proud as a brother that my siblings did not leave my parents behind, even though they might have had the chance to escape. I consider my family as nothing less than soldiers. They are the bravest among everyone I know. Mum, Dad, Hamid, Hanif and Husna, I love you always and miss you always. My beautiful family, you'll never be forgotten. Thank you. Once again, even the inquiry chair looked visibly moved. There'll be more heartfelt tributes tomorrow. Paul Davis, News at 10.